We're here today in Montreal with G from G Pizzas. He's gonna make something very special for us today. What's it gonna be? We're gonna pay homage to uh, Gordon Ramsay's famous lemon curd pizza. Now, have you ever made this before? I have never made this before. And then when I saw the video, I was moved. I was so blown away by it because of the simplicity and the deliciousness that I'm like, we have to do this. So, stretch it out just a little bit. It's lemon curd with some lemons in the side. Then in the video, around the edges, around the crust, the cornichone, as we call it, sprinkles a little bit of powdered sugar. Then we're gonna take our peel, got it in the oven. Now we wait. It's bubbling, so halfway through, we're gonna turn it. Oh my gosh, delicious. Ooh, it's happening. It's happening. This one's almost ready. So, this is a bubble that charred itself. The under is perfectly cooked. This happens, it's nature. Don't hate the pizza, I hate the bubble. Now what Chef, Chef Ramsey does is then he takes some creme fraiche and he finishes it with some basil, which is where you meet the savory and the sweet. And boom, we got a lemon pizza. Chin. Cheers, buddy. Mm, delicious. It's really, really, really good. The basil, the creme fraiche, it works. I have an idea though. You wanna see? There's no way to reinvent this deliciousness. However, this is what we're gonna do. Same dough. We're gonna stretch it out a little bit smaller. Smaller? Why are we gonna do it smaller? Because it's gonna be a little bit heftier. We're gonna take still this lovely lemon curd, Gordon Ramsay inspired lemon curd. What do we have here? What is that? Meringue. Meringue. We're gonna make a lemon meringue pizza. Oh, I'm down. Oh, powdered sugar again? Oh yeah. Yeah, the powdered sugar gives it a nice crunch. Never before done or never been done before, depending what kind of English you speak. This is gonna cook in two parts. First part, we're gonna cook the, cook the base, then we're gonna put it on a dish, and we're gonna finish it so we can brown the top. It's happening. So you see now, there's a base that's cooked, but I still need to finish cooking the pie and color the meringue properly. So we put it on a plate so it doesn't over char. We don't want to burn the pizza. Char is good, burnt is bad. Oh, it's exciting. Have you ever roasted a marshmallow over a fire? Because we added the sugar, that's the effect you're getting. So you have gooeyness from the dough. Then we have the marshmallow we affect from the meringue. We're gonna finish it with a little bit more powdered sugar. Here's the lemon meringue pizza pie. Cheers. Like this was just a fly off the top of my head idea. No, this is fantastic. It's fabulous. No, honestly, you need to offer this to the public. You know what? I, that's what we'll do. Lemon meringue pizza pie coming at you soon on gpizzas.com. Thank you, Gordon Ramsay, for inspiring him to make this type of pizza. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and check out these other videos. Char is good, bird Remember is bad. Remember that. Char is good, bird, bird is, is bad. bad.